To humanity, Pluto has always been known as the ninth and most distant planet from the Sun. It is situated in the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune's orbit that is teeming with one trillion or more comets and hundreds of thousands of rocky ice planets, each more than 62 miles that's 100 kilometers, wide. Percival Lowell, an American astronomer, initially proposed the existence of Pluto in 1905 after seeing odd anomalies in the orbits of Neptune and Uranus. Lowell reasoned that these ice giants' orbits must be off because of another object whose gravity was pulling on them. Lowell went on to forecast the location of the mysterious planet in 1915. Still, he passed away 15 years before it was found. Based on predictions made by Lowell and other astronomers, Clyde Tombaugh finally discovered Pluto in 1930 at the Lowell Observatory. A little girl named Venetia Burney, then 11 years old and from Oxford in England, recommended to her grandpa that Pluto be named after the Roman deity of the underworld. The name Pluto was later given to the Lowell Observatory by her grandpa. The first two letters of the planet's name are a tribute to Percival Lowell. Due to Pluto's distance from Earth, little was known about the dwarf planet in terms of its size or surface conditions. However, in 2006, when NASA's New Horizons space mission completed a close flyby of Pluto, it was downgraded to a dwarf planet, thereby ending its status as a planet. Pluto was reduced to a dwarf planet by the International Astronomical Union because it did not fulfill the three requirements for a full-sized planet. A celestial body in direct orbit around the Sun which is big enough that gravity forces rather than mechanical factors govern its structure is referred to as a dwarf planet by the International Astronomical Union. During this collision, the spacecraft supplied up-to-date information and photographs of several objects in the inner and outer solar system. To achieve this, it started a new mission after leaving the orbit of Pluto and its moons, which was to make the first contact with a Kuiper Belt object. This reclassification sparked discussion and controversy among scientists and the general public. Through these data, astronomers realized that there were more galaxies than previously assumed. The new measurements made by New Horizons show that the light from stars beyond the Milky Way is two to three times brighter than light from known populations. The New Horizons spacecraft's stunning photos of the former ninth planet and its sizable moon, Charon, sent four billion kilometers back to Earth represent the pinnacle of a mission that has been silently operating for over a decade. Pluto is the giant dwarf planet in terms of size and the second largest in terms of mass, in addition to being a well-known dwarf planet. There are five of them, with Charon being the biggest. Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's because it is not round like other planets. Thus, Pluto may sometimes be seen nearer the Sun than Neptune, Pluto takes around 250 years to complete one orbit of the Sun. For clarification, the days on Pluto are much longer than Earth's. NASA took to its Instagram handle to post a beautiful photograph of Pluto's actual colors captured during its New Horizons mission. The image captured at a distance of 22,025 miles, that's 35,445 kilometers, reveals the planet's enormous glacier of nitrogen and methane, known as its heart. According to NASA, Pluto's surface is cratered, white, tan and brownish red. The partly visible heart is white, while the white and tan fall towards the top of the picture to reach the brown-red surface. Pluto has a rocky interior and a subsurface ocean. At the same time, its surface is covered with ice composed of water, nitrogen and methane. The Kuiper Belt is full of tiny objects that are thought to have been left over from the formation of our solar system. New Horizons is orbiting at a distance of 3.7 billion miles, that's 5.9 billion kilometers, and is expected to explore this region. Nitrogen and methane are only a covering. Given that the 4.56 billion year age of the solar system, the mountains on Pluto are most likely just 100 million years old. According to this, the close-up zone, which makes up only 1% of Pluto's surface, may still be experiencing geological activity. The images raise the issue of what type of geological mechanism may be producing the mountainous terrain, as 
They are the first time icy mountains have been seen outside massive planets' moons. Tidal forces cannot be at play unlike on moons. According to Stern, no big body could continuously be deforming Pluto to heat its innards. This proves that tidal heating is not necessary to generate ice mountains. Pluto's surface features and smoothness indicate that current geological activity is causing upheaval and covering depressions by asteroid impacts. According to scientists, the paving process may be caused by internal heat that softens rock and ice or by snowfalls covering the surface. Pluto is predicted to have a surface temperature of minus 230 degrees Celsius and be made up of around two-thirds of rock wrapped in a lot of ice. Scientists are hoping that the 460 million pound mission's continued journey towards the Kuiper Belt will provide a window into the solar system's history and the planet's origins, maybe shedding light on how the Earth formed. According to Andrew Coates, Director of Planetary Research at the Mullard Space Science Laboratory, the Kuiper Belt objects constitute the foundational elements of the outer solar system. The history of the solar system is best preserved this way. That is what makes this so intriguing. The investigation of the solar system is now at a fascinating stage. It takes New Horizons hours to transmit back a single image due to the distance to Pluto, 5 billion kilometers. It will take 16 months to send back all the data gathered during the flyby, including atmosphere data. In honor of Clyde Tombaugh, who discovered the minor planet in 1930, the scientists also declared that Pluto's heart-shaped feature shall henceforth be referred to as the Tombaugh region. Charon now has a more diverse and diversified landscape. About 600 miles, that's 1,000 kilometers of cliffs and troughs, show significant crustal fracture on Charon, which might be due to geological activity. Additionally, a striking canyon shown in the photograph is believed to be four to six miles that's seven to nine kilometers deep. The finding that there are mountains in the Kuiper Belt, the solar system's enigmatic third zone, where Pluto rests among around 100,000 other ice objects, was one of the most significant shocks. According to mission scientist John Spencer, the mountains are approximately 11,000 feet tall and many hundreds of miles wide. These mountains are essential they could hold their own against the Rockies and other planetary mountain ranges. There were no craters to be seen in the detailed image that fills in one edge of the dwarf planet, suggesting that geological activity has recently paved over the surface. This activity may have included dramatic geysers that shoot ice plumes into the atmosphere or cryovolcanoes that erupt with explosions of ice rather than molten rock. Nix, Hydra, Styx and Kerberos are the other four smaller moons that make up the Pluto system, which was also studied by New Horizons. The first sneak look photograph of Hydra reveals its apparent asymmetrical form and size, which is believed to be about 27 by 20 miles, that's 43 by 33 kilometers. John Grunsfield, the assistant administrator for NASA's science mission directorate said, New Horizons is a real mission of exploration, telling us why the fundamental scientific study is so vital. Over the course of the mission's nine years, expectations about what we might observe at Pluto and Charon's closest approach have grown. The initial sample of scientific wealth gathered during those crucial times now exceeds those lofty expectations. According to NASA, the spacecraft will continue broadcasting and recording until the middle of the 2030s. The next object to be visited will be decided by mission scientists between the two following months. When its plutonium power supply exhausts, it will shut down and float away into the farthest reaches of the solar system and deep space. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.